First and foremost, if you're dealing with a wrist injury, consult your doctor. I am no doctor, nor a physician, nor a physical therapist, and neither are the majority of parkour and free running practitioners out there. But if you're just dealing with a wrist weakness that you want to overcome, there are a few exercises that I like to do. They're very, very fast paced. One goes up, the other one goes down. Continuously moving, pointing your hand in the opposite direction of movement. Do this really fast. For these types of exercises, I usually go in 30 second bouts. Something else you can do is opening and closing the wrists really, really fast, as fast as you can. Helps a lot with grip strength. Oh my gosh, you should try this. Just try to go for 30 seconds of doing this. It's crazy. Side to side movement, up, down, both directions. Again, this continuous movement, even if you only do it for about 30 seconds, 30, 30 second bouts, it should give you a fairly, a fairly good workout for your wrists. If you do this over the course of days, your wrists will get stronger and more resilient. The wrist warm up that I like to start out with is interlocking the fingers and then moving the wrists in a circular fashion. The basic purpose of this is to get the ligaments and the bones in your wrist used to movement. And since this is a zero weight warm up, you can go as slow as you want or move as fast as you want in any direction that you wish. There are also a few static holds for the wrist that are very beneficial. One of the popular ones is holding the arm out with the hand dangling downwards and then use your other hand to apply pressure to the back of the hand. Now if you feel pain, you either should not be doing this exercise or you should apply a little bit less pressure. You apply enough pressure until you feel a little bit of a tug on your wrist. Then you can switch the direction and pull the hand upwards with the back of your hand towards you. Now this gets the opposite side of the wrist and also stretches out the tendons in the arm quite a bit as well. There are a few variations of the static hold for the wrist that would be very beneficial for helping warm up for a training session. The first one, hold your arm out with your palm facing back towards you. With your second hand, reach around the back so it's still above your thumb and reach your fingers around so they're grabbing your palm. Then you twist your wrist and try to make your thumb point away from you. You shouldn't be feeling pain here. If you're feeling pain, you're either pressing too hard or you have a bit of a wrist injury or a flexibility issue and you should go see your doctor. Now the static hold that will get the opposite direction, you hold your hand out, your palm facing away from you, but your hand is to the side. Your other hand will reach over the front of your hand, still above your thumb, and reach around to the back of your hand. Now you twist your wrist and try to make your thumb point away from you. You shouldn't be holding these positions for more than 30 seconds or for more than three sets because no matter how lightly you do it, you need to give your ligaments and bones a little bit of time to recuperate or else you can hyperextend them. This next warm up may either be static or dynamic. It's up to you based on what your needs are. It's also a body weight exercise, so this should be one of the last warm-ups warm -ups for your wrists that you do. You should have warmed them up a little bit before this, get them loose. Start off on your palms, then you can switch to the backs of your hands, put a little bit of pressure on them, move back, keep on moving. You can do continuous movement or static holds. You can go side to side, all the while putting more and more pressure on your wrists until you reach the point where you think it's about the impact that you'll be experiencing during your training session. 